Tyler, let's go, school. Hey, you hear me? Can I be sick today? <laughs> That's a no. Be ready when I get out of the shower. Can we stay like this forever? Yes. <laughs> Well, what about school? Oh, what about? I know your grades are slipping. Thanks, Dad. Okay, I have to go. See you tonight? Always. Hello. Hi, this is Miss Sanders, one of Tyler's teachers. Is this Kevin? Yeah, this is he. Tyler, okay? Yes, yes, he's fine. Uh, I was just calling to inform you of the fall in your son's grades and his increased absences. What? Uh, your son has been skipping classes and his homework is suffering. Uh, I wanted to call and make you aware. Well, thank you. I, I didn't, uh, he didn't mention. Okay, I'll definitely be talking to him. Let me know if I can be of any help. Uh, Tyler is a great student, and I don't want to see him get further behind in his schoolwork. All right, thank you. You know, that's something I've always admired about you. You're late. I thought you forgot. How could I forget? Wow. That's for scaring me. That's for being you. Why are you late? My teacher wanted to yell at me about my grades again. Well, you need to keep them up. But I want to be with you. So, I wanted to ask you something. What? Well, I, I, I think it's time that we, you know. What? You know I love you, right? Yes, we've been over that. Well then, I, I think it's time that we meet. Like in real life? Yes. I... I'm sorry, I'm being stupid. It was a dumb thing to say. You're right. About what? It being stupid? I... Tyler, where you at? Hell? Language. Dad. We need to talk. Dad, can't just wait like five minutes? No, we need to talk now. Dad, please, I was in the middle your of- Your teacher called me today. You said your grades are failing? You're skipping school? Dad, let me explain. Tyler, no excuses. You don't have plan tonight? No, and honest- a date. Actually, a second date. Dad. You know how important school is, right? It's just two classes. Yeah, the difference between scholarship and no scholarship. Who said I was going to college? You're going to college. What if I don't want to? That's too bad, you're going. You must not like this girl. Oh no, I like her a lot, thank you very much. But I had to call her up to cancel to be here with you. Okay, I get it. No more skipping classes. You're grounded. What? No more after school TV, no more after school parties, no more internet. And oh yeah, no more computer games. Dad, no you can't. Oh yes I can. Dad. Matter of fact, you get this back when your grades come up. Dad, no. Dad, no, please.
Hello? How is your daughter? Who is this? Now, none of that. We just want to help save your daughter. Without us, I know your daughter will die. She's dying anyway. But she doesn't have to. The doctors say there's nothing they can do. I've spoken to all the best doctors in the world. I know. And they're right. Doctors can't cure her or even prolong the inevitable. Then why are we even talking? What can you do that they can't? I can motivate the funding doctors would need to develop a way to prolong your daughter's life until a cure could be found. The doctors say that if there is a cure, it wouldn't be until decades away. She doesn't have that long. I know, but I can prolong her life. How? Will you help us? Do what? Save your daughter. What would I have to do? Nothing hard, nothing dangerous, and nothing that can be traced back to you. Why do you need me? You are uniquely situated to help us, and you have the proper motivation. <laughs> A dying daughter. A beautiful daughter, doing everything she can to live. You said you would do anything. Will you help us?